Howdy guys, welcome back. All right, so now that we have our raw height map ready to go, we are ready to actually create the terrain inside of Unity using the new terrain tools. All right, so let's jump back into Unity and take a look. Okay, so here we are inside of Unity. And what I want to do is get our height map imported. All right, so I'm going to come over here. Make sure you have the terrain toolbox open again. If you don't, it's up here. So window, terrain, terrain toolbox. All right, so first things first, let's check this import height map so we can access all of these parameters up here. And all we really need to do is hit this little file button right here. It's going off screen a little bit. Uh, usually if you just make the UI a little bit wider, it uh, will show up. So uh, what I want to do is go into my Houdini project where my raw file is located and select it and hit open. Okay, cool. So you'll notice that uh, it's actually showing us information about our texture, our height map. So it's 1024 by 1024. Number of tiles is one by one and the bit depth is 16 bit. Okay, so a couple things that we want to set up. So up here in the general tab, what I want to do is I want to set this to the size of my height map. And then I also want to get the height from Houdini. So what's the height in here? So let's go back into Houdini over here. And well, it's kind of hard to actually tell. What you can do is you can actually uh, hover over this little distort node right here, hit the info box and look at the size information right here. So if we actually wanted to make this the full scale, um, terrain inside of Unity, we would say 6,590 for the X and Y, and then 1389 for the, well, the Y, actually. So this would be the X and Z, and this would be the Y right here. Um, but I, I don't want to have such a large terrain to work with because it'll just bog my machine down while I'm also recording here. So I'm just doing a 1024 by 1024. But the information about the height here is useful. So let's use this 1389 right there. That's in meters as well as it is inside of Unity. So we'll put in uh, 1389. Now it's going to come out really, really tall. All right. If I go and create it right now, if I were to hit this create button down here and you'll, but you'll notice that we actually have the ability to remap that to a new height. And so that's what I'm going to use for now. Plus it's also useful, you know, especially if you're, you don't need it to be super accurate. Now, if you're actually doing a super accurate, like simulation, you, you'll want to actually set these to the sizes that you have inside of Houdini. Okay. Uh, I also want to set the terrain resolution. I'm going to set this one to 1025 just so it matches my height map. And I don't need to flip the axes. I don't think right now. Cool. And so, yeah, that is good to go. We are now ready to hit the create button and let Unity go and create this terrain for us. All right. So let's go take a look and see where we are. There we go. All right, so Unity 2019 now finally has the proper fly camera, which is awesome. So it's going really slow right now. That's just because my uh, units or how fast I can go is set to a max of two. I'm going to set this up to like 80 because this train is pretty large and I want to be able to go really fast. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm just using the WASD keys on the keyboard to fly around in the middle mouse wheel to speed up and slow down. Super useful. All right, so there's our height map now as a terrain. Now, I have gone through and, and tested this already before, so I, that's why I, I knew that the value of 200 was going to work just fine for this size of terrain. Cool. All right, so with that done, we're pretty much ready now to start taking a look at how we get this landscape or this terrain textured using all of that masking data that we set up before. How do we import all that information, set up all the splat maps appropriately inside of Unity here? So that's what we're going to take a look at in the next section. Thanks so much.